Hey guys at Arts Together, especially my Shape, Rattle, and Roll kids from Wednesday. I miss you guys. I hope you're healthy and staying busy. I'm going to read a little story today about a girl who loves to tap dance. It's called Tap Dance Fever by Pat Brisson. Annabelle Applegate was the tap dancingest girl in Fiddler's Creek. She danced so much she wore out the linoleum in her ma's kitchen. She made ridges along Creek Road on her way to school. She even danced a hole clear through the rickety old schoolhouse floor. Folks asked her to stop, but it did no good. Annabelle only heard the song in her head that made her feet want to move. No doubt about it, she had tap dance fever and it wouldn't let her go. Something must be done, declared her teacher, Mrs. Hagglehorn. She called an emergency meeting at the schoolhouse that very evening. She's a nuisance, cried Mrs. Ethel Pontoon. My chickens refuse to lay eggs because she dances past my farm every morning. She's a danger, shouted Mrs. Hagglehorn. Look at the hole she danced through this floor. She's a hazard, said Harville T. Stone. When I hit that ridge she danced into Creek Road, I blew a tire on my tree and busted up my glasses. Uh-oh. They're not happy. Well, said Mayor Peachtree, what should we do? Everyone thought for a minute. Maybe if we put enough dance defiant stuff in her way, she'll get frustrated and forget all about it, said Harville T. Stone. Folks figured it was worth a try. So they ran home, got all the toe stubbing, ankle twisting paraphernalia they could find and dumped it along Creek Road. They thought that would be the end of it. They're trying to block up the street so she can't tap dance anymore. But the next morning, along came Annabelle, tappity-tap, tapping down Creek Road. She looked at the mess left by the townsfolk, then tippity-tapped carefully forward. It was slow going at first, but finally she slappity-skipped and tippity-hopped over every bit of that foot busted heap of refuse and invented a few new steps along the way. She arrived at school just as the bell rang and danced through the rest of the day. That night, the townsfolk met again. We need another idea, said Mayor, Peach, Mayor Peachtree. Take away her dance shoes, cried Mrs. Ethel Pontoon. Everyone agreed. Deputy Thistledown was sent to get Annabelle's beloved tap shoes. People were convinced their worries were over. It's taken her shoes. But the next morning, along came Annabelle. Tappity tap, skippity slap, tippity tapping, all the way down Creek Road, bottle caps nailed to the bottom of a pair of her daddy's old work boots. Is this mess still here, she asked in surprise. Spying a dump truck down the road, she got an idea. Slappity, hop, kick. Tappity, slide, kick. Tappity, hop, slappity, slide, shuffle, step, kick. She soon kicked every bit of dance defying refuse smack dab into the back of that truck. Having done her civic duty and invented some new steps, Annabelle danced through the rest of her day. That night, a frustrated group of townsfolk met again. What do we do now, asked Mayor Peachtree. Take away her work boots, declared Mrs. Hagglehorn. Everyone agreed, and Deputy Thistledown was sent off again. Surely their problem was over now. He's taking her boots too. But the next morning, along came Annabelle, shuffle, step, tappity, tappity, heel, toe, tappity, tappity, shuffling left, shuffling right, all along Creek Road. Pennies taped to the bottoms of her bare feet. Passing Mrs. Ethel Pontoon's farm, she heard an unexpected hiss. Though stunned to see dozens of rattlesnakes in her path, she couldn't keep her feet still. Tappity, rattle, tappity, rattle, tappity, tappity, tap, rattle, rattle, hiss. Uh-oh. Looks dangerous to me. Annabelle couldn't believe it. They were dancing right along with her. Knowing better than to take rattlesnakes to school, she led them to the stage at the empty fairgrounds farther along Creek Road, where curious passerby stopped to watch. Before the day was over, folks from six surrounding counties had heard of Annabelle Applegate and her tap dancing rattlesnakes. And she'd invented a few more tap steps. Nobody at school can believe it. Look at all the snakes dancing. 
Changes were fast and furious after that. Annabelle set up a regular schedule of performances and charged admission. With so much traffic on Creek Road, the county decided to pave it. Annabelle's tap dancing ridges were gone forever. Look, she's so happy on the stage and everyone is enjoying her performance with those snakes. Tourist money poured into town. The rickety old schoolhouse floor was replaced. Mrs. Higglehorn, excuse me, Mrs. Hagglehorn, who'd secretly longed for a career in the theater, designed a red spangled costume for Annabelle to wear in the show and sold tickets at weekend performances. So she's got her red shoes and her sparkly red dress and her snakes have top hats and little bow ties. Everybody's loving the show. Mrs. Ethel Pontoon finally realized the rattlesnakes, not Annabelle, were causing her chickens to stop laying eggs. With the snakes gone, her chickens produced eggs like never before, so she opened a stand to sell all the extras. Harville T. Stone, in his new glasses, looked so debonair that a certain local widow invited him to dinner and baked his favorite pie. He convinced her to go into the pie selling business with him. Looks delicious. With her earnings, Annabelle replaced the linoleum in her ma's kitchen and built a dance studio where she offered lessons to anyone who had a hankering to learn. The whole town came to her open house. When they ran out of small talk, someone called out, dance for us, Annabelle. Annabelle tapped to center stage, took a deep breath and smiled broadly. I'd be happy to, she said at last. And that is the end with Annabelle dancing straight on all till morning. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna get on my tap floor and show you a couple tap steps too.